Hey, what's up guys? Welcome, Daily Theologians. We've got some sad news out of uh, Canada. The pastor of Fairview Baptist, uh, Tim Stevens, has in fact been arrested. Yesterday I showed you this tweet. I just happened to see it on Twitter and he said that he thought he would be arrested. And this video is really heart-wrenching. So here is the full video from Rebel News. Adam Sos here for Rebel News, and I'm outside of the home of Pastor Tim Stevens. Pastor Tim was once again taken into custody. Numerous police vehicles arrived and put him in a car, taking him away from his families. It was an extremely emotional and harrowing ordeal, and we were there to capture it as it happened. I'm going to let you go now to the footage of his arrest. You were served, okay, yeah. and then you got that gathering on June the 6th. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you're under arrest for. <laughs> <laughs> Any avenues for you guys to to question orders, or do you always that have told us? That have told me privately. Let me know if it's too hot or whatever. I'm not going to speak to that. Okay. In Canada. Okay. Only I would say continue the course that you're continuing on. Push further ahead. Push harder if you need to. And that, that's how much harder can we push here? I don't, I, I don't know how far you've you gone. Will you arrest me and take me away from them too? I have like, no reason to arrest you, right? So I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Bye, Daddy. Bye, bye guys. Can you guys share maybe why Jason Kenny gets a free pass and you're arresting pastors across the province? Any comment, any emotion for this family whatsoever? No, you're just going to drive off just like that. Is this why you be... So what can we learn from this video and this arrest? Well, there needs to be some sort of effort to help him and his family. They're the only ones really being targeted uh, by the police in this area for meeting and continuing to meet. And they wanted him to sign a paper that said he would, he would not meet or something like that. And as far as I know, I think they have closed his actual church building. So... I don't think they're meeting in the building. Now, we'll see if more details come out in the story, but as far as I know, they had they'd kind of taken over the building from him uh, recently. And so um, this is very sad to see and very hard for his children. Continue to pray for him, and remember that the ability to gather is so important as believers here in the U.S. and across the world. So don't forsake the assembling together and, and be grateful that we can still do that if you can still do that don't neglect the assembling together with other believers this is so important for your building up and for their building up it's the way that god has ordered the church and so when you see attacks like this it should it should bother all of us uh, not in an angry sort of way but in a sense that way we mourn with those in prison as uh, i think james Coates's wife uh, posted last time he was arrested so continue to pray for pastors in Canada, which is taking a, a tremendous turn for the worse. Uh, but also the gospel is our hope and the gospel is our focus. So in the midst of all this, uh, we don't want to get swept up in the rage culture that is so dominant around us. We want to be the people of grace and the people of kindness and the people of truth. We want to proclaim the gospel. As Paul said, I decided to know nothing among you except Christ and him crucified. So keep that front and center. Keep the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ front and center. And if you haven't yet, repent and believe the gospel. It really is good news. Jesus lived a perfect, sinless life. He went to the cross. He bore an infinite wrath. He died and is risen and reigning. The reason I do these videos is primarily to include the gospel and to continue to try to reach people with the gospel. So whatever the issue, it is always going to be a gospel issue. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. It really helps the channel out. And if you subscribe or hit the like button, those are ways to, to help because uh, that's how the algorithm works. So I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And subscribe to the channel and hammer that like button. 
like the 95 Theses. Thanks for watching so much and God bless.